I have several really inexpensive and free things that you can do to learn all about bones. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about everything skeletons. I bought this from the Dollar Tree for just a dollar and I couldn't wait to break it open to do some really cool activities all revolving bones. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. We do educational activities for kids, product reviews, and hauls. And I just wanna remind you guys, I have two contests going on, one that ends today, Wednesday, and that's for the storytelling box and the rewards box, so make sure to go and enter for that. And I have another one that ends on Friday, and that's from all the things I showed you on the video from this past Monday for the sticky wax yarn sticks. So really fun stuff. You might wanna take advantage of that. So I have a ton of stuff to show you before I break open this little guy and all the resources are going to be listed down below in the description box. And we're talking about bones and skeletons because it's that time of year and it just seems appropriate, right? And I don't want skeletons to seem scary. So this is also an effort to show that skeletons are basically our bodies. So lots of resources to share with you. This first one is from Kids Activity Blog. It's a free, yay, free printable. And as you can see here, it's a little skeleton and then it has this word bank up in here. And then this is the answer key. So if you have an older child, they would be able to write in directly on that. But what's really cool about this one is it comes with this little sheet of tags. You can laminate them after you print them out and you can use them with your skeleton. But I wanna get back to that in just a second. So this is a really cool resource to label um, a skeleton if you don't have one from the Dollar Tree like I do. Then I found this fabulous set of three part cards. It's another free printable, you guys. If you don't know how to use three part cards, I have a whole video on how to do that. I'll put that down below in the description box so you can go back and use them. Three part cards are basically an essential to Montessori learning. I really like these cards because it's just highlighting the part that it's talking about on each card. Like there's the cranium, so you see the head is yellow. So I was so excited to find these as a free printable. And what's great about this is that you can actually use the cards with your skeleton. So here is my Dollar Tree skeleton that's really big and long. Look, his foot's all the way up here. So we're just gonna sit this guy crisscross applesauce style. You can use those Montessori cards to label your skeleton. And I like it because it shows you which part. So if I look for the cranium here, and I see that the top part is yellow, I can place that at the head. And humorous. And then if you wanna make it more difficult, you can just use the label cards that come with these three part cards instead of the full picture cards like that. So it makes it a little bit harder. You can even use those tags that I showed you in that first printable. So you could cut a hole in here and then even hang up your skeleton and just hang these on your skeleton. That would be kind of fun too around this time of year. All right, so now if you aren't into buying one from the Dollar Tree and you want a life-size one, this is kind of like a puzzle. You see there's different sheets of paper here and you lay out each sheet of paper. Once again, this is another free printable and you make basically a toddler-sized skeleton puzzle. I'm gonna lay this all out here and try to get you a shot of what it looks like all laid out. You can also do labeling on this with your three-part cards or you can do coloring. That might be a lot of fun too, to color each bone. I found some really great resources for x-rays from Tried and True Blog. So here I have part of the free printables. Don't you like this theme of everything being free here? This one is animals. You can also cut them up and laminate them if you'd like. And then they give you the x-rays of those animals. Check this out. So now you have a matching game. I haven't laminated these yet, but I'm going to. And you can match up the animal x-ray to the right animal card. Preschoolers would love this one. And then there's the dog. This free printable also includes human body parts. So here is hand and foot, head and knee, and chest. And then you get the x-rays for the human body parts. So here's a foot, and a hand, and so on. My only regret with these, is, which is why I haven't laminated them, is that they're not all the same size. So I think I might go in, here's the head, isn't that cool? make them all the same size cards so I can have them all matching. And there's the chest. And then lastly, of course, we can't have some bone activities without making our own x-ray. So grab yourself a black piece of construction paper and a white crayon and go ahead and lay your child's hand on the piece of paper and trace around it. We all know kids love to trace their hands. And so now is the perfect opportunity to let them do that. Then you're gonna grab some cotton swabs and some glue because cotton swabs, they kind of look like bones, right? Right? Aren't they adorable? 
and they're just going to outline and glue down the cotton swabs all across their hand. This is so cute. And then there you can have your own little hand x-ray. Really easy, simple craft, and they'll really like that one. So those are all the really fun and easy things that you can do all regarding skeletons and bones, particularly when you can find this little guy at the Dollar Tree. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.